Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. From Austria. Actually, I lived in LA for a long time, but now back in Austria. So oh, awesome. you will be all over Austrian media now. So which is awesome. a good thing. <laughs> Big fans here in our country. So really lovely, lovely to meet you. Oh, it's so awesome to meet you. Yeah. Um, can we start? Yeah, because we have not that much time, right? Okay. Um, Run along. Yeah. The first question I think everybody probably asks you, um, you did a lot of voiceover acting already. You did mm -hmm. a lot of TV and movies. The quarry is a little different. What what intrigued you and how was the experience to like do that? that yeah, it was definitely different. Um, and I think that's part of the appeal, you know? It is such an incredible experience to be able to do something that is so out of the norm for me and also something that is pretty new and incredible and something that I think people are going to absolutely love, um, gamers and also non-gamers, um, because it has such a, a cinematic um, aspect to the game that it's not just like, you know, something for people who game all the time. It's it's beginner gamers. It's, it's people who just love, you know, cinematic horror. Um, and so I, I think it was just something so exciting for me to get to do something new, something I haven't done, um, something that is challenging in, in a very different way. Um, and obviously all of the people involved are so amazing. 2K, Supermassive, Digital Domain, Will, our director, um, and the actors and, and, and just everybody who worked on it um, was just so awesome that I was like, yeah. how could I, I turn down such, a, such an incredible opportunity that is so cool um and yeah so I was super excited to be a part of it super excited that they were interested in me um definitely different it's crazy because the majority of my life you know I've, I've worked on all sorts of things just nothing like mm. this I've done a ton of voiceovers yeah. a lot of video games but nothing like this nothing yeah. uh, mocap and so it really was a crazy experience the filming of it is pretty weird um but so satisfying because yeah. it comes out so incredible um yeah. so yeah that must be as an artist really interesting because the recording must be kind of like because there's 168 endings 86 endings right and uh you probably have to record one after yeah. the other version right so it's as an actor you probably have to like sometimes okay let's do it again let's do it different it's not like you know you do one like the, the sequence you do like versions of it so how did you motivate yourself to do that like over and over again? Oh, did it just come easy? Um, it actually is a very fast process because there are so many pages. We can't do, you know, 10 takes of each yeah. scene. We, we really have to, you know, we, we have to do one to three takes of each segment okay. because so we fast. have, yeah, because we have, you know, 50 pages to do in yeah. a day, 60 pages. Yeah. So it's wow. like, you have to, you have to work quick. You don't have the time to wait. Um, so it wasn't really like, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't difficult because you're just kind of go, go, go. And you have okay. to get it done. And, and yeah. even though they're, they're different endings, it's like, you know, they're, they're on that you're on the scene and, and you're doing the one that's on the first. And then you see alt, first alt, second alt, third alt, and mm -hmm. you you do it, you go through it and, and you move on. So that wasn't the difficult part. The difficult part is trying to do your job with all of the new things on you, you know, wearing like mm -hmm. a Velcro suit and acting with a helmet on that has a camera wow. directly in front yeah. of my face. And, you know, like you have a kissing scene with somebody and you're literally just going like across yeah. from somebody, <laughs> you're not touching anyone, you're not anything, yeah. like, just like across yeah. someone going. Yeah. And they turn that into, um, they turn it into what it turns into and it looks incredible. Amazing. It looks amazing. Yeah. It looks like we're touching. It looks like yeah. everything is real. It looks like I'm doing it in real life. Like it's yeah. a live show or movie or play anything. Yeah. Um, so that was the challenging part really is getting used yeah. to that and being able mm -hmm. to do my job the way I would if, if I wasn't in any of that and I was just in the, in wardrobe. Yeah. Um, but over time it, it became less difficult and just more cool. 
and just more like, wow, my job is really cool. And this is, this is such an awesome experience. You just enjoyed it. Yeah. And you were a pro. So they, they they made the best choice anyway, to get a pro on set, to get it just done the job. Um, Is it a spoiler or can you tell how often did you have to die while recording? How (laughs) how many scenes of dying did you have to do? Um, I can't remember. It's, it's hard to say because some things also get reused because there is so much. Um, so it's a lot of like, it's a lot of recording a ton of different facial expressions and Mm -hmm. a ton of different screams, a ton of different, whatever. So you're not exactly like always filming the entire death. Like you're also sometimes like they're just taking pieces of what they've recorded okay. from you. Mm-hmm. Um, and the process for that is crazy. You're in like a camera and light orb and you have so many different scans and, and you go in for scan days and it's, they scan every single part of your body. They have you, well, not every single part, um, but they, they scan, they scan everything. Um, and then, you know, they'll put all these monitors on your face and, and everywhere and then have you say these weird sentences and and phrases yeah. and and do these screams and then be happy and then kiss in the screen and then whatever um and so it really is such a crazy experience where you're like how is this going to come together how are they going to make this yeah. how is this yeah. going to go and they do it incredibly and it comes out and you're like wow this is a this is such an insane talent to be able to make that happen like that the people yeah. who, who put all of this together and and do it that it is like it's weird while you're doing it and incredible to watch it after. Yeah, I can imagine. That's true. So one final question we need for our viewers. Um, are you a screamer in real or are you a screamer? Do you enjoy screaming? Like you had to scream a lot, right? In the uh, yeah, yeah. I don't Does know. Does it come I easy to you? Or? I enjoy screaming, but yeah. I I can't say I enjoy like enjoy screaming, but um yeah, I definitely did scream a lot. It's it's one of those things where you just kind of hope that you do it at the end of the day. So you have the voice to get to go there at the full yeah. day. Um, yeah. But it's, it's super fun to do something like this also because I love horror. Like I love horror movies. Yeah. I love the horror okay. genre. Okay. So it's fun for me to be able to um, be a part of something like that. So yeah. Yeah, I guess you could say I loved the screams working on it there. That's good. You know, I, I loved the scary. I loved the horror yeah. aspect. So I was more than happy to scream as much as I needed. Okay, that is good. Um, another question. I think because it goes in the movie, like if you hide or run, right? You always have to make the decision. What is your, how would you react in, if you would be in that situation in real life? <laughs> to be honest with you, I would probably hide and run. <laughs> I would depends, probably no? go high. yeah it really depends you know how close the creature is how you know whatever the situation is I would have to assess it at that time but I yeah. would probably hide until I thought it was gone and then run like crazy yeah I, I don't think yeah. I don't think I'm out here confronting something like that I think I'm I think I'm out <laughs> yeah, true that and one last question uh video games are you a gamer do you enjoy it I definitely enjoy video games. I wouldn't call myself a gamer just because I'm not good at them. And sometimes yeah. like I'll play them and get like a little bit discouraged. Um, but, <laughs> but that's, what's awesome about this game. It's like, I don't have to be a good gamer, you know, like I'm, I'm basically watching a movie and getting to play it at the same time. And it's not like, you know, if I make the wrong choice within a second, like my entire game is over. Like I can just yeah. play again. I can make a different choice. I could play as like you know, any other character I can, you know, whatever. So it's, yeah, basically like watching a movie. It's, it's not like a lot of those other games. So it's for beginners. It's for everyone. So while I'm not like the most or the best gamer or somebody who games all the time, um, I think it'll be great for people like me because they can play the game with their partners. You know, my, my boyfriend's a big gamer, so I can play it with him and he can help me make some of the decisions and also just like watch it and enjoy it. Like a great movie. Exactly. Yeah, true that. Uh, okay, one more question, <laughs> but then it is, uh, how is David Arquette? Spill a little bit. He's awesome. He as He's nice awesome. as he seems. And yeah. He is super awesome. He and I worked together a very long time ago. Um, we were doing like a charity event together and spent a little while together and, and he was just so nice then. And so I was very excited because I was like, oh, awesome. Get to like bring it back together. Um, yeah. He's a super nice guy. Yeah. He really is. He it it like was so. awesome to get to work with him again. And you know, it's always great when you get to work with somebody that you liked working with in the past. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. And are there any projects coming next now after this, like that you're working on that um, you want to yeah. tell us? 
Yeah, I mean, I, I can't really discuss them yet. I'm about to go off and do a movie in the next few weeks. Um, so I'm excited about that. That's just starting. Um, what genre? If we know, if we act, my, my dad. Um, it's it's definitely not horror. It's it's okay. like it's it's a comedy. It's definitely a oh, comedy. Cool. I wouldn't say it's it's a romantic comedy. It's like a fun <laughs> girls comedy. Oh, nice. I can yeah, I can see you. Yeah. In that. perfect. Okay. Yeah, so that will yeah. be fun. Yeah, it's so definitely. We'll awesome. see you then again. Absolutely. After. Yeah, and yeah, yeah now see things. So just doing doing all the things. Great. No, I'm I'm very, very happy. I'm a big fan, first of all, and I'm very happy and glad to see you like doing all these cool, amazing stuff. You're like really an amazing actress and just growing pretty much like that because we all know you from like, you know, the very beginnings and, and now doing all these amazing things. I'm very, very happy Aww. for you and wish you Thank all you so the much. best and, and just continue like that. Thank really. you. I appreciate it so much. That's so awesome. No, well, it was a pleasure to meet you and to talk to you. And I really hope we'll, we'll, we'll talk soon again. Yeah, Absolutely. That would be great. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All the best. <laughs> Thank, you. Yeah? Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ariel. Thank you, Tamara. Thank See you, you soon. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Thanks,